Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and I am going to work on some ephemera. I need some regular vintage style ephemera and then I need some for my young, young salvation journal I'm working on. So I got some ideas off Pinterest and YouTube and so on and so forth. And I decided to start out by dyeing some more paper. <laughs> That's always a good idea. So I took sheet or a, a hymn book. I took a French book that I got from a used bookstore. And I think a Bible dictionary. Anyway, several books. And I took some really strong coffee, like instant coffee. I mixed like probably... I would say a quarter cup of instant coffee into a cup, cup and a half of water. <laughs> so it was really strong. And I put it in a little small spray bottle. I laid some stencils down and sprayed the, sprayed the coffee on them. And then I took the, while it was laying there, I took the paper and blotted it up. So I got kind of prints, some of them, funny this French book it just sort of bled out and just made it uniform it looks like but I got some pretty good prints on the hymns and this definition book Bible dictionary so I did quite a few of those so that'll give me some paper to work with that's a good one so anyway um, I'm going to turn off the camera for a minute and kind of get myself together and then I'll be back. Okay, so if you're going to craft along with me, I thought I would turn the camera back on. Here's my bucket of scrap paper, one of them, <laughs> and I am going to cut and then for the journal that I told you about for the Young Salvation, I've got some of this Illustrated Faith paper from a tablet of theirs. I'm cutting it into two inch strips and then cutting some two inch squares. And now I'm gonna go through my bucket of vintage things to go ahead and make some of those up too while I'm at it. Cutting two inch squares and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I didn't know if I was gonna make it back or not. I kind of went down a rabbit hole, cut all this paper out, kept getting more paper, more paper. Oh, and then I found some of this, and I did this. It's like, it reminds me of when my mom used to tell me to clean my room, and I'd go in and open a drawer, and I, three hours later, <laughs> I hadn't gotten out of that drawer. I was like, oh, look at that. I forgot I had that. So anyway, uh, back, focus, focus. Okay, I cut out random things, but I was cutting squares out originally. So I've got a bunch of squares. And so uh, what I'm going to do is just fold them corner to corner. And what I also realized is that my paper cutter isn't square, which is not a good thing. And I'm not exactly sure how to square it up. I could probably Google it and find out, but I didn't feel like doing that. I was too busy looking at paper. <laughs> so basically what I'm aiming at are to make uh, corner pockets that open up and you can write a note in, in them. And so the first step is to make the, the triangles and then we're gonna go and uh, de decorate them in various ways. So if you've got squares cut out, that's what our next job is. So I'm gonna sit here and fold some triangles and then I will come back. Okay, I am back. I've been trying to gather some materials uh, so I cut my squares out of uh, all different papers, scrap papers, and they're different sizes because I have big journals and I have the mini journals. So I mean, I have small. So anyway, then I did a couple of fussy cuts and I, and I can't find them. I don't know what I did with them. So they're here somewhere buried under all these triangles probably. And I pulled this out because it's got little, it's like a, trim from Hobby Lobby that has flowers. So I thought I could um, cut 
one of those. I'm looking for things to glue onto these triangles. And so, so let me just make one. Let me just really, so I'm looking for something that the purple might go on. It's a red purple. So what these are gonna be are corner um, pockets that you just glue the back side to your journal page corner. So it makes a corner pocket, but then you don't glue it down. And so inside you can put a message. You can write a little message inside of it. So I'm looking for things to glue onto the top to embellish it. And I saw this on Pinterest and I'm sorry to say, I do not have the name of the person who had the pen, but anyway, I, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Let me get my Fabri-Tac and I'm just gonna glue this on here, just so I can say I started. I did thin my Fabri-Tac down with uh, some acetone. I am shocked at how many times I've had to thin this down, but apparently that's not unusual, so I feel a little bit better about it, but you know, you can sit there for half an hour and wait for your Fabri-Tac to run down. <laughs> so there's that. I just, it's just crazy how quick your your junk piles up when you start to do something. It's like, oh, this and this and this. Things just get buried quickly, don't they? <laughs> I'm sure you guys know the feeling. So I'm gonna just do some distress, uh, I mean some, yeah, distress ink, some vintage photo on the edge. And this, the paint from the paper bled through, so I think I might line it with a, another piece of paper so that you could truly write a note. But I'm gonna worry about that later, so. So there's the start, nothing too fancy. And so then I was gonna, I just had some different ideas I was gonna try, I have that hole punch that makes little holes. So I thought you could punch a couple of holes. I have no idea how this will look, so I'm gonna try it and see. Punch a couple of holes, and then I've got some of my Hug Snug ribbon out. So I just thought I would thread that through and tie it in a bow. I don't even know, let's see, I guess it'd have to come through this direction. Let's see, is that making, yeah, I guess that's a big enough piece to make a bow with. a little bit closer over to this side, I think. So it looks a little more centered there. Okay, so that's kind of cute. All right, so there's a couple. And then let's see, I have some kind of thick brown paper with, this was off of a pad of paper that I got at Hobby Lobby that was made out of brown, stiff brown paper. And I have some of these little labels that my sister sent me. I think I will put a piece of lace. Let's see. And then maybe one of these labels. I also have some little buttons that I could glue on. And I could just glue it. I could make it go straight. Let's see. Because it's going to be down in the corner. I think I like that better. So I'm going to do that on that one. And again, sorry for my Boston Terrier snoring in the background. <sighs> you know what I should have done is use the Distress Ink before I put that on there. Okay. Where? Oh. <laughs> Wow, almost looks like that's not 
Oh, there. Okay, I guess it is. We'll find out. Yeah. I was going to say it looked like my pad was dry, but maybe I need to spray some whatever that stuff's called. <laughs> that kind of wakes it up. I think someone said somewhere that it's glycerin and water, which would be easy enough to make your own, but I'm not sure. So, uh, let's see. Distress Refresher. Let me spray some of that on there and see if that helps it any. I actually have a reinker too that I made. Maybe that's what it needs. Okay, so there's that. So, you know, these aren't, I'm not doing anything fancy here. Um, I also have some metal charms I, I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby that I could glue on. I think I pr should probably use uh, E6000 with that. So, let's see. Let me find, let's see if I can get this distress ink to there. It looks, I guess that paper being... <laughs> Brown was why it wasn't showing up because it looks like it's looking here fine. I think I'll glue. Let me see if I have a. I was going to glue a little bow on it, but I don't really think I have one the right color. Maybe a button. That's cute, but it needs something to go with it. So let's see. I mean, maybe I just do a little, like a little grouping of scraps or something. Hang on, let me get my little box of smaller pieces. Let's see if I've got anything in here I can put behind it that would look different. I mean, I think I'll just put some little fabric pieces. Let's see if I have. I'm looking for colors that would go with, that's kind of cute. Okay, I love that color combination anyway. <laughs> Blue green and lime green. I just always go to that. Okay, so I'm just going to start kind of layering this stuff on. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of squinch it up. I hope it'll stay. And I don't think the button, I don't know. I'm always, I don't know that, I think the button probably needs E6000 putting more of this fabric tech because that is not wanting to stick. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Cooperate with me. Okay. And then let me get the... I'm hoping that... I guess it doesn't hurt anything to use E6000 on top of wet fabric tech. Hopefully this doesn't blow up. button. Okay. Hopefully that glues, that sticks. I think it will. Well, look at what I, <laughs> I get grief. Okay. I did distress ink it. I just did the wrong side. Okay. We'll see if that works. And while I have the E6000 out, I should probably go ahead and glue, ugh, try another one of these brown ones, and I'm going to do this key. Hopefully that glues. I'm looking to see what this bicycle shows up. It shows up best on, not black. I thought it might show up. These have an iridescent shimmer on them, and I think it looks better on this lighter one. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue, oh, good grief, the bicycle to it. These charms are flat on the back, so they can be glued down. And then, let's see, I have this, like, travel bag, which I have this map. That might be kind of cool. So I was looking to see if I had a bigger one. I think I'll do this one because 
this will show up up here above it and it'll maybe be super clear that it's a map. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some washi tape. And I was doing this because I wanted to put one of these in the Young's uh, Salvation Journal. That's kind of what started all this. And so I need to find, this is one of the papers from it. And of course the black and white. And I have the flamingo one and the heart one. And so what I thought, I have these little safety pins with these little uh, seed pearls that I threaded on it. And the safety pins my sister gave me and she painted them. And I'm not sure exactly how she did that. She just sent me a bunch of those. And so I'm going to take just a little piece of this um, washi tape from Illustrative Faith and put it on black on black. So I'll put some glue where the tape will go. I put it on the back side of the safety pin and that will be what holds the safety pin on there. So it's just kind of a little piece of ephemera glued to it really. So I didn't want to put it on here and cover the flamingo up. I chickened out. Let's see, this is going to be like this. You know what I could do is, let's just see about punching, where'd my little hole punch go? Okay, so if this is in the corner, what I, I'm going to just punch a hole in this corner. And then I'm just going to take a little thin piece of pink tool and poke it through that hole. There you go. Okay, poking it through there. I'm doing my old, my famous loop. <laughs> Stick the ends through the loop thing just to make a little something decorative. So if that's in the book, on the corner, this will just stick out on the edge of the page. Like a little, I like that one. I think I'll use that one on, on hers. Maybe I could put that, this little bitty bow. I might just do that. So all I need to do is glue this on. And then let's see, what else can I do? I kind of want to put this on there, but it needs to be something fairly flat. This is kind of flat and it kind of goes with that bird. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut a piece of this, tie a knot in it. And glue that on there and then glue the bird to that. Okay, so uh, this looks better. Okay, so I need fabric tech for that. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just drill sink it. Okay, so there's the corner. A little dot of fabric tack. Glue that there. Glue this bird on. <laughs> okay well all right so that's what that looks like <laughs> all right I have some pink netting let's see do I want to All right, so I'm just gonna wad that up, stick it on with some fabric tack and stick a button or something on top of that. See how that looks. I 
has a little button that looks like a flower. I think I'll just stick it on there. And I think I'm gonna put one of these dates. Let's see, which one do I want? I think I like this one. Oh, I don't wanna use Fabri-Tac on that. I wanna use Early Art Glue. Okay, so what else do I have? I think I'll just stick a bunch of scraps on here and see how that looks. And I have a heart button. I think I'll stick in the middle of that. And I have a red heart button that I'm going to stick on there. Oh, let's see. Cut a little piece of this lace. Okay. I've got every glue I, I have out, I think. Just about. All right, well, I'm gonna stop and go on to the next video. So thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please click like and think about subscribing, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.